I know there were some people thinking Pros. we couldn't do it. Yeah. They don't understand that. If you're trying to alcohol, you can do much better than these sea level folk. And there were us. some people doing a pub call that just started. They were at bar two. I don't amateurs. know what kind of. You need to start early. Amateurs, come on, get with it. Let's go. All right, good morning. Good morning. It is day two. Day two, bar crawl day. Sea day. We got our drinking on a boat shirt. We are ready. Current tally is looking like 27 bars. We're gonna see how far we can get today. Luckily, there's two sea days in a row, so we're gonna allow ourselves to split it if we have to. The deluxe beverage package does not just include alcohol. You do get coffee, so we are gonna start our morning with coffee good coffee yes. so well and we gotta get some food yeah we yeah. need we need to get started appropriately we are not going to just jump right into it hopefully you enjoy it it really is a great way to ensure that you see the entire ship because these bars are spread out there are so many of them but hope you come along with us let's go All right, so we ended up coming down to Pearl Cafe for breakfast. Um, this is one of the free options. It and is, and it is so pretty. Yeah, like, and we had some technical difficulties, but you're gonna see it as we're eating it instead now. Um, so I went with two egg sandwiches. There's ham, sausage, cheese. It's really good, actually. It is good. I had one, too, and I really like it. Yeah, and then did some overnight oats, which they used to call it muesli. Now they're saying overnight oats. I feel like that's just a it sounds cooler that way. Yeah, it's cooler. Um, a chocolate croissant. And then we did our coffee. I was going to say, but the main reason is the coffee. Yeah, yeah we wanted to get that because um, the lattes down here are like made like a coffee shop. Yeah, just like Starbucks, really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but, but also... They are, they are covered with our drink package. True. But also, look at this. Like, it's insane. The windows, the natural light. It's yeah. just so pretty down here. It's such an awesome venue. It's it's such an upgrade to Cafe Promenade, honestly. Like, Agreed. This is way better. I agree. And then there's a whale behind me, and Josh will throw that scene in too, because it's really yeah. pretty as well. It's really pretty. Actually, I think we found our first bar. It's going to be the Overlook. All right, so we came around the corner. We found the Overlook bar. And, oh my. Check out the seating. This is very cool. And then look at that dome. Okay, this is your relaxing solarium feel. And there's Rachel. Brightness, the colors. Yeah. Very cool. But the Overlook Bar does not open till 11. Correct. So we can't start there. So, espresso martini it is, huh? Yeah, I think that's where we're going. All right, so coming up the stairs from the Overlook area is Ryan Bean Coffee and Whiskey Bar. I bet this looks cool at night, too. Yeah. And we are just on, you can see, hooked across the way. Let's get a drink. All right. All so, right. <laughs> first drinks of the day. <laughs> I mean, we may as well start with coffee. Yes. It is very pretty. I love the little foam edge on top of it. Yeah, that's I went a, with the espresso martini. And that has Kettle One Vodka, Kahlua, cold brew coffee, and simple syrup 14. Oh, good. That is good. That is really, really good. All right, so I ended up with the signature drink, Coffee Boulevardier. Uh, this has Woodford Reserve Bourbon Campari and Mr. Black Coffee Liqueur. Um, you can definitely get a coffee flavor. It's it very looks bitter. like an old-fashioned. Yeah, it looks very old-fashioned. Like um, the orange peel actually does come out in it. Really? Um, but yeah, I think the bitter comes from the coffee. The Campari adds a little, little bit of twist to it. So it's not like an old-fashioned, but it's kind of along the lines of that. So you're starting off strong, and may need to go simpler for after yeah, this. I, I may need a mimosa <laughs> after this. So the cool part is, and their menu is pretty fun simple but it's got some fun ideas and i think i would come here for coffee in the morning like regular coffee yeah that i coconut, do want to try that coconut cold brew. yeah if we find ourselves up here later in the day we might need that to keep going that's true all right first bar down man that was good martini that was 
that was actually a good location. Yes. Um, with the menu and stuff, I could actually see coming back here and doing um, more if we if we have some time tomorrow to add in an extra bar and drinks. Agreed, because that, but I would not sit in the window seat. <laughs> I would not either, it is Hot. warm. All right, because we have the drink package, and this counts, we're gonna grab a juice. So we're both getting a juice, but you can get a mimosa or a bellini here. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I went with a fruit oasis. I did the carrot lemonade. Yeah. Now, if you take away the fact that it looks like carrots, I don't yeah. taste it when I taste it. It's actually a pretty strong lemonade, I think. Mm, it's a strong lemonade. It's a good way to get my veggies in because you know we're drinking today. There you go. So I feel like we needed some veggies. Now this is again included in the deluxe beverage package. It is, and mine is just kind of fruit juices. Mm -hmm. uh, there were supposed to be apples, but they're out of apples. So I'm kind of unsure what's in there. Grapes. I think she was. Well, there was already grapes. supposed to be grapes. Oh, so. then I don't know that answer. There you go. Something green. <laughs> <laughs> but we decided to come down to the Central Park for it. All right. Next up, bar number three, Trellis Bar, here in the Central Park. Central Park area. All right. So I'm going with the Scarlet's Tropical Sangria. It's guava and passion fruit with pinot and some pineapple juice. Um, I love the sangrias on the ship, so I'm really excited. Yeah, and this is a red though. Usually she does a pineapple guava. Yeah, you can taste the red pinot in here, but it's very light and refreshing, which is the problem I have with the pineapple guava one is that I end up drinking it too fast. She does. So maybe this will slow me down a little bit. It's not going to be as fast as the pineapple guava, but I do like this. It's very refreshing. All right, and then I ended up with the Passion Spritz, Aperol Vodka, Passion Fruit Syrup, Lemon Juice, and Sparkling Wine. And I'm pretty sure this is gonna go down way too easy, but that heavy drink to start the day. I was gonna say you needed it after that drink we had it, the rye and bean. It was super easy to drink. I could do it all day. All right, next up, after we get a new watch, we're going to Bubbles, still here in Central Park. Here's a quick look at the menu. It's pretty short. Oh, no, I saw Can't go wrong, right? All right, so bubbles. I went very simple. Bellini, peach puree, and Prosecco. The idea is super cute. Two or three options, and you're pretty much good to go. Right. I like it. I, I want to say the menu is like four. Yeah. <laughs> um, now, you went with something a little bit more I did. exotic. What do you got it's here? It's a garden breeze. It's got some rum, some lime juice, some mint, and champagne in it as well. You should sip on it. you want me to try it? Yeah, you try you? it out. So they're also selling, at this Bubbles, um, Icon Goblets. If you have the drink package, they're only $5 more. We did not go for the souvenir goblet That's yet. That's true. Not yet. <laughs> What do you think? Um, I feel like the lime and the mint very much are strong in that. Do you taste a um, lot of rum? No. Okay, good. Yeah, I I was initially thinking it was going to be like a, a brown rum. <laughs> and I was like, that's going to look that's ugly. That's going to look like dishwater. But no, this is actually nice and okay. refreshing. Good. Right, next up, we are out on Surfside. I don't know, you think Rachel's going to do a slide? You bet your sweet is. whippy up, can you? Keep your feet up. Yeah, it appears that, that that's the necessary thing. <laughs> you got theme. this. Stairs are overrated. Ooh. Watch the static at the bottom. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, lemon post coming up just off from the uh, play area. Lemon post. We have alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks here. Let's see what we can get. All right, here you can see all the non-alcoholic ones. They do have a souvenir cup here too for the kids. Yeah, I don't think I'll get that one. <laughs> <laughs> and then here's the alcoholic one. Okay, at the Lemon Post, most of the drinks, at least the alcoholic side, were based on lemonade. I ended up with the Escape Raft. It's coconut, Tito's, vodka, some pineapple, and some lemonade base. They are so fun, the presentation. Yes. Again, in one of those glasses that looks like... Um, it looks glass. Glass, but it's not, because we're at a pool deck. Yes. Um, and I went with the the Slice of Life, which is like watermelon, lemonade, tequila. You liking that? 
this is ridiculous. <laughs> I, I can sit back here. I mean, we don't have children, especially to play in this area, but I can see where parents are going to just enjoy this area. I want to just drink these drinks. Yeah. Because this is so refreshing. I love the coconut and freshness well, of a pineapple. Who, who doesn't love sitting and staring at the wake out the back? That's my other piece. Like, look at that. Look like, at that view. This, yeah, we're just like, I don't know, 20 meters away from the big kid area. But it's actually a great spot for adults, too. I, I don't mind it. And there's a kid area, but they're all playing in the water and enjoying yeah. the fun. Like, it's not overrun with children yeah and, and we're it's just really exciting we're just slightly to the side and it's it's kind of perfect and if so. you can't tell i can't stop sipping this yeah one. cheers cheers make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see our full experience on icon of the seas we will have daily vlogs showing over 20 different food venues, 30 bars, the world-class entertainment, and an insane pool deck. We also make stops in St. Kitts, St. Thomas, and even check out the brand new Hideaway Beach Club on Royal Caribbean's private island, perfect day at Coco Cay. All right, came back inside. Next up is gonna be Giovanni's Wine Bar, which you can see is like just slightly off from uh, the restaurant, which is just this half wall over here. And we ate it yesterday, had a great lunch. We're not ready for lunch yet, so we're hoping to get a couple bars in before then. All right, so we are going with the Carpe Rosé right here. Chateau Saint-Michel Rosé, which is what we had a couple glasses of last night. And it was, it was really good, yeah. It's got passion fruit syrup, pineapple juice, and strawberries. Well, Josh Can't is sipping on that. We are getting at Giovanni's Wine Bar in the middle of the ship with the pearl right here. It's just so pretty. So it's very strawberry forward. Um, oh, good. We did see him take a full, large strawberry, muddle it. Yep. Um, and that like truly comes out in that. It's delicious. I'm glad to hear that. Yes, you're gonna love it. All right, Crown Lounge. Oh. A little specialty for you, sneak peek. Uh, we thought that the Crown Lounge for some reason it was closed until five, but it was actually just because it is, uh, that's when the bar opens. So, grabbing some cookies to help keep us going, and then we'll be back out. All right, so the tough thing, you gotta remember, if you're doing a bar crawl, not every place is open at all times, so Dueling Pianos isn't open till tonight, Karaoke Bar isn't open until later. Oh, but it looks if, like Karaoke Bar has people. Maybe the oh. bar itself isn't open. Oh, we might be able to do that one. Uh, Bolero's, I know, is not open until the afternoon. No, so, babe. And the attic, we're only going to do when we're um, in there for... Oh, yeah, you can see nobody's at the bar. Nobody's at the bar itself. They must be just doing something. Oh, I think there was trivia in there earlier. Yeah, but like the, the attic, which is up there. Right now they're doing an art auction, but that doesn't mean the bar is open. Yeah. So you got to kind of look at those things. There's strategery go involved here. <laughs> Yes. All right. Ooh. Some icon specific merch. There you go. Come get your icon ship. I actually do kind of like that symbol. I do too. Or the design. This thing is just too cool to not record every time I go by. But we're headed to the 1400 bar. Yes. That is cool. Oh. Some of the artwork around here is just awesome. I agree. Yeah, like the dog peeing on stuff. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. I like that one too. <laughs> Rachel popped hers already. I moved mine, but it is smoky. All right. Uh, Cheers. Look at that. It's pretty oh. intense when the smoke is on you. <laughs> yeah, it's a smoky flavor. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. It's um, actually pretty uh, like lemony. Yeah, it's a very, I almost would call it a, a lemon-ish margarita. Yes, like <laughs> lemon drop plus margarita. That's good. And, and it's pretty. Smoke. And it's Cheers. right here in the middle. All right, next up, Point and Feather, the British pub. All right, so on the menu, you can see there's gin cocktails, build your own gin and tonic, other cocktails, 
Now, normally I would go with a beer here, but we right? do not have the beer I want. Yeah, we were hoping for Floridian Funky Buddha, but we don't see it. No. So, I think we're going with the gin drink. Yeah, pretty and pink is what I'm aiming for. And cool as a cucumber for me. All right, I started with the cool as a cucumber, which has gin, elderflower liqueur, yeah. lemon juice, simple syrup, and muddled cucumbers. Man, we've been loving some cucumber gin and tonics, and that's kind of what it sounds like. Yep. I got pretty and pink with beef eater pink gin, lime juice, pineapple juice, and guava syrup. Cheers. Cheers. Strong cucumber flavor. Mm, mine is it. very refreshing. There's some club soda on top of mine, too, that makes it just that little bubbly. This is one of those drinks um, similar to what we've talked about in the past that you could sit at the pool and sip on all day long. This is it. I've had this on multiple ships and I will continue to have this on multiple ships. I agree. Highly, highly recommend it. Very good. Cheers. Cheers. All right, Rachel's smart. She decided we needed to take a Every moment. Every now and then, you need to step outside for some fresh yeah, air. Yeah, because we're inside a lot today. Yeah. Um, but this is right outside the 1400 bar. It's also the walking track, yes. running track. We thought this was kind of odd yesterday when we were on the wa uh, walking running track. You can see this dude is on it. Um, but you basically just come right out onto it and there is a seating area. Which is really nice, actually, though. Because a lot of times you can't get outside until you're on the very top decks. Yeah, I love the relaxing spots on this deck, or on this ship. It seems like there's many, many options to just go and chill. Yeah, there's just so many different spots. Um, yeah. We have heard that uh, the inaugural sailing does have around 4,500 people. Yeah. Um, so this is definitely not full, but it doesn't feel full at all. Um, yeah. We have not felt overcrowded in any sense, but it does kind of help make sense to the amount of people that are here. It's going to be upwards of 7,000 people um, when it is fully uh, crowded, yeah, or fully booked. That's insane to me, but I also grew up in a very small town. Yeah, <laughs> so. it's very cool though. Yeah. All right, next bar. All right, I think we're like seven to nine bars in, so Playmakers is going to give us some sustenance. We need some lunch and a beer. Yeah, lunch and a beer. All right, so Playmakers is a sports bar. We are going with beer. Going with beer. So pretty simple. Blue Moon for me. Heineken for me. All right, there we go. But we're also gonna get lunch while we're here. Yeah, we are. It's time for food. It's what, like 1:30? Yeah. Yes. And we're gonna try to watch some game stuff. All right, talk about game day feast. Yeah, this is good. Look Ahi at tuna nachos. Buffalo wings with jerk chicken or jerk spice on the side, ranch blue cheese coming, and then regular nachos with pulled pork. Two beers. This is good day. This is Playmakers. Thank you. All right, so we just ate at Playmakers. That place is good. It is good, and we did a tally. I think we're at nine bars so far. <laughs> so we are one third of the way through. It is two seventeen. That's pretty strong. It is pretty strong. Now, after eating, that's probably going to slow us down a little bit. Yeah, so, and there's some stronger drinks like the Schooner Bars. Um, sorry, the Schooner Bars signature cocktail is a heavy one for a you. A marshmallow old-fashioned. Yeah. So I said to Rachel early on today, I was like, I can't do that until after lunch. <laughs> after starting with bourbon this morning. That's true. So we're going to try to head there now so that if I do need a nap. We can take one. Yes. <laughs> But we're doing pretty good, you know, nine bars by 2 p.m. All right, so one thing we have definitely learned along the way is that they have special drinks at each bar now. Yeah, um, that are only available at that bar. Yeah, so toasted marshmallow old fashioned. That is going to be where I'm headed next. Yes, and I'm actually going to go for the dessert pear margarita. We have not seen, seen that. that on any other menu yeah. yet. So, yeah, this is going to be good. All right, some of the prettiest drinks, I got to right. say, right? I do have to agree with that. Yeah. All right, these look so dang good. All right, here we go. I went with dessert pear margarita. It is, I love the black salt. 
I do too. I, I had it yesterday up on the top deck. Yeah, it's at one of my favorite things. La Cantina. Yeah, Cantina Fresca. There we go. But um, old fashioned. Thank you. Oh, that's a good margarita. That tastes like an mm. old fashioned with just some a little bit of smokiness. Do you get some sweetness out of that marshmallow? A little bit. Oh god. All right, we just went from deck six <laughs> to maybe seven to fifteen <laughs> to fifteen, and Rachel just had to walk. Yeah, because we don't take the elevators usually, and we gotta burn out some of these calories. Yeah, that's true. But we hope to do at least two more. I think we're panting. <laughs> yeah, we're breathing heavy. Well, we're either gonna do two more, or we're just gonna power through and yeah. do everything today. Yeah. We're gonna hit 20 today for sure. Yeah, I know there were some people. Give me a five. Yeah, thinking Pros. we couldn't do it. People at the bar just now. Yeah. They don't understand that if you train at alcohol. <laughs> Elevation. If, if you train at alcohol. <laughs> At elevation, you can do much better than these sea level folk. Yeah. And there were us. some people doing a pub crawl that just started. They were at bar two. It's like 2 40 in the afternoon. I don't amateurs. know what kind of pub crawl you're doing, but Freaking you need to start early. Amateurs, come yeah. on, get with it. Let's go. All right, the Aqua Dome. It is busy in here right it now. It is. It's busier than I thought it would be, but we're looking for the bar, and apparently it's over this way. And we found it. It's tiny. All right, so when wine. they say it's in cans, it truly is just cans wine, of liquor. Wine in a can, margaritas in a can, painkiller in a can, and even beer in a can. Yeah, I'm doing painkiller in a can. I'm going to do a Heineken. There we go. And Julius is going to help Thank us. Thank you. So here's what I ended up with. Pusser's Rum painkiller. Delicious. And Rachel. I went with a just Heineken. Just relaxing over here. Skinny. These chairs are comfy. They're ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, with a Heineken, so nothing too crazy, um, but you can see they're practicing in the Aquadome. Uh, it's a very cool area. It's actually it's nice very and, calm. Yeah, the, yeah. The, the temperature is good too. Oh, I do like that. Yeah. I'm yeah. having deja vu. Deja vu. All right, headed to Overlook Bar. This might be the only, the last one before a, a nap. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we will see. All right, so we did the Overlook Spritz, and look at this background behind us. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. And this is 12 bars in. We might need a nap. Overlook Spritz. Whoa. It's blowing my taste buds. It's there's very coconut. good. There's coconut. There's some sparkly stuff in there. Lime juice, coconut syrup. The coconut's what's blowing my taste buds away. That's and then there's so some good. sparkling rosé in there. Mm -hmm. This is pretty and tastes good. What is cool about this too is the picture on the... Advertisement? Yeah, the little advertisement thing looks identical. I don't disagree. And the word is you can eat this. I'm done getting it. What is wrong with him? <laughs> it tastes like a flower. It's nighttime, boom. Bam, magic. Pew. Magical transition. <laughs> um, so we came to the room, we took a nap, we watched some football. Now and we're ready to do dress your best. Yeah, we did 12 bars to start the day. Goal is to do at least seven more. Yeah. Um, because initially it was eight, but we heard that Crown Lounge on this ship, apparently, it's so overbooked with Diamond, Diamond Plus, and Pinnacle members that they only have Diamond Plus and Pinnacle in the Crown Lounge during happy hour. Yep. So unfortunately, we're not gonna get to have a drink there. Nope, that's all right. So we're, we're doing our best. We, we brought you with us. You got to see what it looks like. We also got to see the Crown um, bar area. It's not that special. Don't worry. You're don't, not missing anything. Yeah, don't get a suite. Just go hang out out there. It's just more Oh, the Grove people. area. Yeah, the Grove. That's what it We was. actually did walk up there uh, day one. Um, so you're fine. But seven more places to drink tonight. We got the attic for some... Comedy show. Comedy show. And we got Chops Grill. Excited. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, music hall time. Sounds like they got the game on. They got here. the game going. Yep. We're on the second level here. So 
I went with the Strawberry Fields, which is uh, Aperol, Light Rum, Strawberry Puree, and some other stuff. And you went with the Tribute. I say mine's Tribute. Coconut rum, raspberry liqueur, club soda, and a splash of pineapple juice. Cheers. Cheers. All right, comedy time. Small table, or do you want to go up yeah. closer? It's a littler venue. We'll, we'll get a drink from a guy, but let's grab a little a spot. Table, yeah. All right, cool looking venue. I like it. Right here? Yeah. Okay. Gives us a table. And we won't get made fun of. Yeah, and we won't get made fun of. All right, what'd you go with? Oh, well, I had to go with it because I haven't had it yet. I mean, it's been over 24 hours. Pineapple guava sangria. About 24 hours. You had it at Playmakers last night, right? No. On tap? Oh, I did. It was on tap. Yeah, pineapple guava sangria. <laughs> that feels like forever ago. <laughs> That's Rachel's general go-to. It and is my I, general go-to. I went yes. with the strawberry blonde, which they say is the um, drink up here, but you can get it anywhere. It's yeah, on the this regular one is menu. A, this one you can get anywhere. Both of these you can yeah. get pretty much at any menu. Yeah, this one is vodka Saint Germain, uh, strawberry lemon juice and mint. Yours is Pinot Grigio guava passion fruit syrup. Pineapple juice and lime syrup. And it's gonna go down too smooth. It's so good. Always. Just don't give her a straw. <laughs> uh, but it's a cool looking venue. A little shorter ceiling. I think it's that's a little what cozier. Going for, yeah, yeah, I agree with that. It's a very uh, New York comedy Style. club vibe. Yep. Yeah. yeah. All right, we just got done at the attic. It was fun. Yeah. They were all funny. There were three different comedians, and they were pretty good. Yeah, Promenade is popping tonight. It's yeah. quite loud. Hopefully, you can hear this. Yeah, there is live music over there. Live music over there. Live oh. music down there. Like it's all over the place. Yeah. So we're gonna grab a drink at Valeris and go to dinner. That's right. Two drinks from Valeros. I got the. I can't remember. Yeah, Europa. Something like that. I don't I, think it's called that. I'm the girl from... Ipanema. I, yeah. Yeah, I remember that one. So mine is very coconut forward. Mine is elderflower and strawberry. Yeah. All the drinks... I, I've been very impressed with the uh, remake too. of the menus, honestly. I agree. Mm. That's good. Mine's very good, too. Yeah. Let's go to dinner. All right, we have a steak tonight. We are headed to Chaps Grill here in uh, the Central Park area. So Chops Grill, this is an upcharge, but we did the unlimited dining or ultimate. We're not sure what it's called, but either way, you can pick whatever you want here. Ultimate dining package. Ultimate dining package. That's what we're gonna go with. Um, you can see, you can pick from basically any of these. Now there is an upcharge option that iconic is new. Cuts. Yeah, yeah, iconic cuts. Check this out. We are actually gonna try the porterhouse tonight, and we're gonna be back here on day six because I'm loving the look of that tomahawk. I know, I think that might have to be the day six one. Right? Sure. I think we might have to try it. But yeah. The room is very beautiful. There is outdoor it feels seating. Like a very, it feels like a very nice steakhouse. It does. It, yeah, it looks like a classic steakhouse. We brought our drinks from Bolero's. Starting off our steak dinner. We've got a wedge salad here. We got some pretzel bread. I think that's uh, one of like that. I want to say it's like the French or the onion bread or something. Yeah, we'll call it that. We'll call it that. And then what'd you get over here? I'm a tuna tartare. I have been craving tuna tartare, and I mean, it's fresh. It's pretty. I love it. Yeah, hard to go wrong. All right, dinner time. I went with the bone-in ribeye, which this is actually on the regular menu. It looks very nice. Yeah. Also got a baked potato, mac and cheese. What'd you get here? Garrett. Gruyere. Gruyere. <laughs> yes. I can't say that word. Gruyere, tater tots. Tater tots, and then some muscle, or, uh, mushrooms. Oh my gosh, I'm struggling. It's been a long day, huh? Mushrooms, sauteed mushrooms, and tater tots. I got cheesy tater tots. Yeah. Oh, and then I the ended up with steak. the um, porterhouse. So I love the fact, too, that they have three different options for sauce a port wine and a peppercorn. peppercorn. We both ended up with that. And a Bernays. And a Bernays available. Yeah. Yeah. Seems but yummy. It should be good. Just finished up chops. 
It's good. It was it's a good very steakhouse. Good. Yeah. Yeah, I actually was surprised at the sear that they had on the ribeye. Mm. Even on the um, porterhouse was really yeah. tasty. It was good. We have dinner plans there later this week. Glad, yeah. and we're gonna keep them. Yeah, we are gonna keep them. All right, so we're hoping to hit up at least four or five more yeah. bars tonight. Um, we're aiming, our goal was 20 today, but one of them fell through because of the Crown Lounge, so I guess 19 is going to be the goal. <laughs> That's right. Alright, Josh is starting out with the Jazzy Saz. Yes. This is a very New Orleans style with drink, so a little of the Sazerac classic sure. drink from New Orleans. That's loud. <laughs> it is loud. It's and jazz actually, music. it's really cool. Yeah, yeah it is very um, cool. If you like an old fashioned, you probably like a Sazerac. What'd you get? I went with the Hurricane. I mean, again, classic New Orleans style vibe. Yes. Very pretty. Cheers. Cheers. That's good to hear because yours does have a lot of alcohol in it. Oh, it does have absinthe in it. Yeah. Too, I don't have a lot of absinthe. But no, my, it actually tastes really good. Mine tastes like a good hurricane. It's got that rum base on it. It's really good. All right. We do not have a drink to go to, but we just got to check out this night aesthetic. I know, I, we Holy really do. Holy crap. I just wanted to see what it looks like at night out here because I love it during the day. Yeah, and, it's, and um, it's just as cool as I expected it to be. Yeah, it's very pretty. I love it. Yeah, so far the ship has not disappointed in any way. No, I um, love it. What'd you think of your hurricane? I love it. Um, I was telling Josh, it doesn't necessarily stand up to the same um, as in New Orleans, but there's something about drinking and eating in places where things originate. Sure, I agree, but I think this yeah. was better than like a Pat O'Brien's. Yeah, it was definitely a very that's good a, hurricane. That's just, that's just Hawaiian cooling. punch with some booze. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, no, that was very good. Was good. Um, cool atmosphere. Yeah. We got a few more to go. All right, next up we're headed to Spotlight Karaoke. We believe it should be open. And it looks like there's people inside right now. We're headed to the bar. We will not be singing. No, we will not. Yeah, maybe Rachel will. All right, it's kind of loud. I don't think we're going to be able to talk in here. It's very loud. Cover that, Red Roger. We are going upstairs while recording. That's right. Purple Haze at the Karaoke Bar was cool. What I really like is that they have this specialty menu. Again, like many of the bars yeah. on here, that is, their names are cool. They're all like famous karaoke songs. I say famous, but they're famous songs in general. Well, I had Jack and Diane, yeah. and that was really good. Um, but yeah, it's, it's nice that every bar has its own thing. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, and, and you can still get a lot of your favorites. Yeah. We're getting some weird blue lighting, but yeah. <laughs> I enjoyed it. I did too. We're headed to dueling pianos, and they're not dueling just yet. But maybe they will be. So as we were saying, check this out. Snap, crackle, pop. That is the signature drink here. But looking over here, they have a lot of the drinks that were just downstairs. That's true, yeah. So there is like a signature cocktail, which but is pretty we're cool. We're definitely getting at least one of these, which has pop rocks in it. Yeah. Anything else that calls your... Um, oh. So I really do want to try this, but not today. No? No, because look at it. It's four different alcohols. You don't like mixing liquor? I don't think we should. I, I mean, we've we, only done a little bit. We've only bit, been doing so. it all day long. All right. Well, we'll see what we end up with. All right. So uh, Rachel ended up getting the really drink we were yeah, talking about. Yeah, snap, crackle, pop, but it doesn't have any snap, crackle, yeah, pop. Yeah, there's no pop rocks. Yeah. Right? <laughs> um, the for bartender so did recommend it, but since we have the drink bag, she said it's a, it'll it be okay. Matter. So I'm sure it's going to be sweet. Uh, mine looks disgusting, but it's the one that Rachel was wanting to try with all the alcohol. Right, it's almost like um, what you would call like, 
what did I say? Almost like jungle, like jungle juice. juice. But like you make it in high school where you just threw everything, everything your parents had. Everything your parents had in the thing. Yeah. And you want to make it somewhat. There you go, raspberry beret, but it looks gross. It does look um, I bet it's going to taste phenomenal. And, it's be so good. and they've started over there. Woo! All right, final drink of the night, probably. We'll see. Final bar of the night. Final bar of the night. Drink is not. We might have a few. All right, we're in the casino. We'll see what we end up with, but here you go. All right. Yeah, we've been drinking water a long way. If you want to do this, drink water. Yeah. Um, it's but still ridiculous. I think we're at, what, 19? This is number 19. Uh, we're going to drink what we normally drink at the casino. And we're going to invite Yes, with cherries. It's so good. And a bottle of water. And a bottle of water. Two cherries in here, three cherries three in here. Three cherries in there. Heck yeah. Yes. Cheers to our final bar of day one. That's right. 19 bars. Thank you. Technically, 18 alcoholic drinks, so. Yeah. Still a long day of drinking. Cheers to that. Late night drinking on the cruise ship always leads to one thing. Pizza time. All right, this is closed to um, bar crawl day number one. Uh, yeah, we'll see in the morning. We got a lot of time up on this on the pool deck tomorrow. Favorite bite of the day? Oh, favorite bite. I'm gonna have to go with the poke nachos. I really, really like them. Those were good. I actually enjoyed the hot wings better, but I would say the ribeye. Oh, the ribeye was really good. Yeah, there was a really good sear on it. Favorite moment of today? Mine was just sitting up there at um, the Outlook or Overlook area with the, at the Ryan Bean. I thought that was one of the oh, best moments of the day. It just started the day very off Very right. first bar. Yeah, it just started the day off right. That was pretty fun. Um, I would probably go with that too, but just to be different, um, at the 1400. 1400, that was I cool. I had a very fun time there. We met some people who, this is their very first cruise. We told them, you're ruined for life. <laughs> yeah. Because this Crazy. is not normal this cruising. <laughs> um, but yeah. it, it was just a blast. Like hanging out with them and talking to them about it. Yeah. So we are gonna crash. We're going to bed. We're eating pizza. <laughs> um, this is how you end a drinking day. That's true. So we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, it's about 8 a.m. No, it's actually 9.20. Yeah, they changed <laughs> time zones on us, I didn't. Uh, but we're yeah. feeling pretty good. We're gonna yeah. go to the gym to start the day. And then you may notice on the list, we actually left all of the outside bars. So we're going to be spending the rest of the day at the pool deck. Yeah, I'm excited for that. Some sunshine and some cocktails. That'll be a fun day. Yeah, we had we had lunch planned for Hooked, but um, the specialty dining takes, it takes it's a, a solid 90 minutes. And yeah. so if we're going to do that in the middle of our pool day, it kind of seems like too much. So we're going to just find some food up there for free. That's true. Let's go. All right, the running track is very windy. We might be going inside. All right, quick little breakfast after the gym. We are up here at the market, Aquado Marketplace. I'm gonna get a Monte Cristo. And Rachel's getting the Harvest. Breakfast Champions Diet Coke. What's on your sandwich there? Um, apples and mozzarella. All right. Yeah. I got a Diet Coke, a watermelon with feta, and this is a Monte Cristo. Check that out right there. Oh, it's gonna be good. All right, we were such fans of the Ryan Bean yesterday and wishing that we had uh, the ability to go ahead and eat or get a coffee there. So here we go. We're going to grab one. Definitely still one of our favorite spots. I think so far the Overlook area is our favorite. But the hideaway could probably give it a running today. All right, if you don't remember the menu from earlier in the video, we're going to actually down here at the bottom, cook on a cold brew. Wonderful, thank you so much. Thank you. Those look awesome. They do look awesome. And I bet they taste just as good. All right, we are headed up to the pool deck. By our count, we have seven bars to hit. And they're all outside. They are all outside, <laughs> and we're going to try to start probably from the front to the back. Yeah, and highest to lowest, right? Like I mean, 17, technically 15? true, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so bring it along, you'll get to see some of the free food options up there. I guess we'll see. Let's go. All right, cloud 17. 
They do have a towel station over here, we realize. So that is definitely one of the coolest things. We've noticed that there's towel stations all over. So you don't have to go to like just the one hub like you normally do on, on the cruise ships. All right, well, unfortunately, it looks like they don't have any water in this one right now. We were hoping to go in that pool. So we'll grab a drink up here and then head down to Swim and Tonic. We are transitioning to GoPro mode, heading into the Slim and Tonic bar. Oh. Hello. Cheers. So we're up in the hot tub of the Swim and Tonic. And again, we've talked about this. It is awesome how much they've changed up their cocktail menus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right here. Yeah, you'll see. And they're all new. You'll see at the lime and coconut that we had just got our drinks. It's very much the classic drinks. Yeah. Uh, whereas if you go to these other new ones, you're finding stuff that's special to them. So it, we've really enjoyed the fact that it gives you a reason to go back to places. Yeah, I really like that idea. And I'm really fond of their uh, logo over here in Swim and Tonic. Alright, so I went with the pirate and coconut tree. It's rum, rum, coconut water, and tonic. Thank you. And I went with the strawberry sunset. It's uh, rum. No, gin. Oh, gin and strawberry puree and then tonic. Yes. So, sure. <laughs> All right, really quick review. Uh, swim tonic, I was kind of disappointed. Yeah, I mean, it's a cool vibe. I mean, it's not a vibe, but a it's, cool spot because you can just swim up and get a drink. Yeah, but it's crowded, it's loud. There's not music. Yeah. Um, the coconut drink, I thought was underwhelming. The, it was very basic. The strawberry one was delicious, so I think it could be a lot of fun if you know a lot of people. Otherwise, it's just a little too much, yeah. but you may enjoy it. bar is lime and coconut frozen bar all right we got a miami vice on the left and a tropical melon blast on the right this is watermelon and pina colada this is strawberry and pina colada not bad not bad give it a they drink look good. like the perfect food there we go yeah. for lunch we're headed over here to base camp I think there's some upcharge items but uh, we're gonna see if we get him covered with our dining package it's a cool looking area though all right so the way that the dining package works is it gives you $20 credit which is very similar to Playmakers or Izumi so I'm getting two of the items Rachel's getting two of the items um, that way it's all covered and we don't have to pay for it all right, since we're eating at base camp, we are going to go ahead and grab a beer here. We're actually, like, just going for a beer. Uh, we're going to get two Heinekens. But there's your menu. I did have a painkiller yesterday. Really enjoyed it. Um, nice, little, nice little spot. Check out this girl. That's a way to my heart. Here we go. This is your base camp extra charge stuff. There's your smash burger with some tater tots. Hot dog was free, but the bacon costs extra. Uh, crispy shrimp, shrimp bao, cheese curds, 
chicken waffle bites. Yeah. So there's chicken inside that waffle. And, and then hot, honey. yeah, hot honey. <laughs> That's gonna be good. Couple of beers. This is a good pool day lunch. Yeah. All right, it's dessert time. Deserted milkshake bar. All right, so unfortunately, the uh, dining package and the drink package do not cover this, but we're gonna get the stranded burrow. Or the diamond package. Wait. The, like the diamond, the drink. Yeah, none of, none, none, of them, none of them cover. <laughs> it's an additional option. Yes, no matter what. And so after tip, you're talking like $21. I hope it's a really good milkshake. So, and that's why we're only getting one. So it's like it's gonna be a damn good milkshake. Yes. So you get a pinata with it, some donut, some candies, some salted, uh, I think it's salted caramel ice cream. Yeah. Um, you can see some cinnamon toast crunch, there's red tamales, um, or hot tamales, and popcorn. It is ridiculous. I don't know if it's 20 bucks though. I bet it's gonna be good. All right, so to find the milkshake bar, you gotta go just past base camp. It's on the center over here. And you can see we went with the most elaborate one. Um, it's twenty dollars, so I mean it's gonna be a milkshake. It, it, I'm sure it'll be good. I doubt twenty dollars good. Agreed. But back to the upcharges for base camp. We felt like the cheese curds and the shrimp bao were the best purchases that we would actually do again. Um, we do not think we would do a burger because you could probably find one similar. I bet you can find one at the buffet. Easy for that. And then the. Um, the chicken and waffles was a neat concept, and we really liked the hot honey, but uh, they were pretty filling. They were filling. Um, if you're really into that, that'd be good, but they're, they're not the crispiest waffle, so I don't know. It was good, but at least the dining package covered that. All right, our official statement is it is not worth 20 bucks to get this. Um, Absolutely now, not. And that wasn't even the alcohol one. The alcohol one would be a shot of fireball for five extra bucks. Um, this, it either needs to get on the drink package or the eating package like Johnny Rockets um, I it just didn't work for me it, it's a good milkshake $20 absolutely not yeah uh, even with but we have a burrow. a fake pinata <laughs> yeah so we just happened to walk into the wind jammer just to see because we haven't eaten here yet and we found a bar so secret we're adding another bar to the list uh, let's grab a drink Two pineapple guava sangrias. Yeah. How was it? Delicious. Smooth. <laughs> so this is just half of the buffet. We have people spread out really well. Seems like lots of seats. Plus, there's just lots of options for people. I really like it. It's big, bright, lots of windows, and floor to ceiling too. All right, we're back on the prowl. Headed to the final lime and coconut. This is gonna be the third lime and coconut. But we also want to check out a hot tub. All right, final lime and coconut coming up. We found there's a hot tub here. There's a little overlook kind of pool. It's a nice area that uh, you wouldn't notice unless you just happen to come by. Drink time. Yeah. All right, they got the classic lime and coconut menu. Uh, Rachel's gonna go with the Goombe Smash, and I'm gonna go with the Painkiller. I really liked it yesterday, so we'll see how it goes. All right, Painkiller's on the right, Goombe Smash on the left. We actually just realized that they actually are very similar. Well, here we go. I'm sure Josh already showed, but our drinks, Painkiller, <laughs> Goombe Smash. But this is the cool part. Like, there's a couple infinity pools on this boat that are really cool. Yeah. Um, now, I could go for some more of the water. Right. <laughs> we might have to move to the hot, hot tub, tub that's down the way in <laughs> about three minutes, but we, yeah. we're giving it a try. Josh wanted to sit in the shade over there, and I was like, can't we sit in the sun where at least we have a little bit of warmth? <laughs> I wasn't mean to be in the shade. It just happened. All right, we are returning to one of our favorite bars from day one, Cantina Fresca. And we only have one left after this. How are you doing? Hey. 
All right, so this is a new bar next to El Loco Fresh, and the key thing for us is this Fuego Fiesta. The key thing is also just simply margaritas. Yeah. It's amazing. It's a really good margarita with some black salt. Yeah. It's got a little bit of heat, not too much though. A little, uh, little bit of heat, a little bit of sweet. Not as hot as that one. That thing was way too hot. We didn't like it. <laughs> yeah, but Fuego Fiesta. Okay. All right, so amateur move. We got talked into an extra drink over at the hot tub. Amateur my honey. The guy who said it's a drink you've never had before. So Ooh, we said yes. No? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but the good thing is we only have one more bar after this one. So and we, today is a much more relaxed Yeah. Day. We were able to go ahead and splurge. That's right. Fuego Fiesta. Fuego Fiesta. It, it might be one of the best drinks on the ship. I agree. It's a delicious strawberry margarita, a little bit of heat. I love, love, love. The black salt. The black salt. It's so good. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. Ah, that's a good margarita. Super good. All right, had a very nice time meeting some people in a hot tub, uh, but we are headed to our final bar of the bar crawl. And we're headed to the back of the ship, to the hideaway. Don't tell anybody, we're still in our swimsuits. But we walked into Hooked and we're gonna do a oyster shooter. Cause there's a bar here. Look at this, extra bar. You didn't even realize it, did you? All right, what's your name? Gary. All right, Derek. We, we made a friend, oyster shot, boom. Let's go, Hooked. That's kind of weird and gross. You gotta chew it. <laughs> you alright? How you doing? I like it. I like it. <laughs> alright, so we realized. Well, uh, good news is we hit all the bars. I think we did. I think we you did. You know, I really do think we did. And we had seen in Hook, they had a bar area there. We went ahead and did it. We met a friend. Um, and <laughs> he decided after. Right? Derek, I think. Derek. Um, Derek, Gary. Yeah. <laughs> As we were ordering, he was like, you know what? I'll take one of those too. And, and you I can't said, do a shot yeah, by yourself. Yeah, you can't do it by yourself. So we, we uh, ended up having a shot with him. Yeah. Um, and we have found that Ryan Bean is our favorite. Ryan Bean is our favorite. So we're just across the way. So we came across to Ryan Bean. I'm going to get the big boba, which is like an alcoholic boba tea. And Hello. I, I'm getting a Carajillo, <laughs> which some of our friends have said is like the best drink ever. So I gotta have it. And uh, at some point I gotta get it out of my swim trunks, I guess. We it's need like, to put a dinner and a show, I think. Yeah, we got lots to go. It's been a fun day. It has. Super fun day. Um, we just chill. It's, it's been one much. of those like, we're gonna finish this bar crawl, but it wasn't pressurized and we just had a blast. We met some other YouTubers. It's either the traveling couple or the couple traveling. We'll try to put their links down sure. below if we can find them. <laughs> yes. But we had a great time talking to them. We've talked to a couple of travel agents. We've talked to a couple of viewers. It's just been so much fun. That's, what a great experience. That's the great so thing far. about cruising. Everybody yeah. is, you know, you're just all interested in having a good time. So we enjoy it. Um, but we're going to have some drinks. We should probably shower at some point too. Yeah, we brushed our teeth today. Deal. That's a good point. There we go. Favorite bar? Ryan B. We're Ryan here B. now. Yeah. And honestly, this Carajillo. Yeah, so get good. It. Yeah. If you like coffee and you're down with whiskey. Yeah, the Carajillo or the even the espresso martini on tap, you can't lose. All of them are good. 
Um, Ryan Vito is my favorite. So Best well, drink of the right? trip. Oh, um, Fiesta Fuego at Cantina Fresca. Or the 1400 at 1400. Yeah, all good too. Also good. Her <laughs> still. Still so good. All three of those, very great things. Yep. Check them out. Uh, we got some more stuff to do. Okay, because we've been talking about how awesome this area is, the overlook. You just gotta see it. Look at this at night. Yeah, it's pretty freaking cool. It's great during the daytime because of the views outside. Look at this on the inside though. Yeah. At night. It's oh my so god. It's so pretty. You can't beat this area. It is the solarium without a pool. It is, yeah. And I think a lot of people don't realize how great it is. So if you can get here early, I say do it. I agree. Back in the room. We are refreshed. We showered. We got a show to go to. We got a show to go to. We probably have a dinner. I Not probably. We are going to dinner tonight. Yes. We have not had any reservations today because we've been on the pool deck all day long. The pool deck is awesome. You're not awesome. gonna you're not gonna miss out by going up there. Uh, great time. We ended up having a few drinks at the back at the hideaway, um, and then we ended up at Ryan Bean. We Super love good. that bar. Um, yeah, but let's go to the show. We're sneakers. Yeah, we did make it to 30 bars. Um, Crown Lounge. Mm -hmm. Riesling, and I'm doing it old-fashioned. Grab some food before the show. Oh God, that's hot. <laughs> we snuck into the Crown Lounge. Boom. Make some noise. Highly upset that um, they don't give her her own bowl of edamame because she's fucking hungry. Instead, we have to wait. I don't know what they're freaking doing right now, but we want rice. <laughs> we, we want rice. rice. <laughs> we, we are want hungry. Rice. All right, the responsible ones here ordered a she's a geisha, and so did. And Rachel apparently did too. But like, she is out of control right now. I'm so hungry. So I'm, hungry. I'm feeding you up. Oh, get over it. I'm just hungry. Give me some rice. Oh. One more. Last one. End of the night, shaky hallway wrap up. 
Um, I had a good night in the casino. I <laughs> went from being down five to seven hundred to being up a few hundred. Yeah. Uh, it was good. You had good. a good night. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, the show was, I, it was pretty good. It was good. Uh, dinner was good. Yeah, we did hibachi. It was a good time. And I love the hibachi, but it's sneaky on how much it fills you up. It's crazy. I agree with yeah. you. Yeah. But um, big day tomorrow. Yes. Oh. Best bite of the day. Best bite of the day. Mine was cheese curds. <laughs> I freaking loved those cheese curds. They were so good. I agree. I had a really big cheese curd. That sounds gross. Yeah, that one. But I had a good cheese curd. Yeah. Um, best <laughs> moment of the day. Okay. Uh, hanging out at the hideaway. Yeah, hideaway was fun. Yeah. We got I, to meet another couple who does some vlogging, and, and just, it was just so much hung fun. Hung out, yeah. had some drinks, and we were done with our bar crawl. Yeah. And then suddenly we were like, we found two more. Yep. Boom. <laughs> You're not getting that somewhere else. Nope. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. And tomorrow, what are we doing? We are in St. Kitts. Your hair looks good. Good that way. You should do that. <laughs> no, just randomly. Look at all that volume. Um, yeah, we're in St. Kitts tomorrow. We are going uh, deep sea fishing. So should be fun. Stick around for that. This girl needs to go to bed. I'm tired. <laughs> it's time for bed. All right. Well, on that note, if you're enjoying this video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe. You can also follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and X, formerly Twitter. All our links are down below. Let's go fishing.